have. Uh, will, I'm going to ask in English, but I'm, uh, please, uh, yeah, Portuguese, and then you can do the same in English. Você esperava que a torcida tivesse assim? Uh, did you expect the, the crowd to be like that in your favor? Eu já imaginava que, que a galera ia estar ao meu favor, por tudo que eu estava vendo na internet e tal. Eu já esperava que a galera ia estar ao meu favor. Did you heard them when he was here and like the reaction? No, I did not. I, I was downstairs. Ah, português. Estava lá embaixo e não escutei muito. É, eu vi que estava rolando uma gritaria, mas eu não... aí depois eu fiquei sabendo que era a galera vaiando ele. Do you believe that this is going to be uh, the same at fight night and do you think this motivates you more? Que não faço falta de É, com certeza. É... Eu acho que eu sou um cara que quando eu entro ali eu entro muito centrado, não escuto muito o que está rolando lá de fora. Já tive a torcida contra, a favor e eu acho que é minha experiência, muitos anos fazendo isso, isso para mim não vai é, é, ter muita importância, mas com certeza é um combustível extra. What do you think the main differences are in the way that Colby talks smack and the way that Connor does it? Uh, can I even compare these two guys, you know? Uh, Colby, you know, being, being so fake, being acting, you know? And it's, it's hard to compare one another, you know? And it's hard. Yeah. This guy trying to play that he's a gangster, he's a bad guy, but, you know, when, some, when things get rough, he calls police, and it's hard to talk about this guy. The fact that he's being fake, do you think, is that as irritating or make you as angry as the things he might be saying? No, I like, I, no, anything that he's saying bother me, you know. I just, I, I know that I'm putting 100% of my energy on Saturday night. Uh, anything that, you know, I, my focus on that Saturday night. I think he's been expending a lot of energy uh, acting, doing stuff like that. But well, my energy is 100% on that fight. Pop, is it difficult for you? I mean, we hear a lot, like, if you can't be emotional on fight night. You know, you got to keep yourself detached. Is it tough? I mean, when he's just taking shots and talking about your country and talking about all these things, is it difficult to, to keep yourself detached a little bit and not get emotional? I uh, know. For me, so many years doing that. And that, that fight this Saturday will be my 38 fight. And I just got so much experience. And I know what I have to do. I know what I will do. And nothing that he talks bothered me. Were you disappointed to find out that he was at a different hotel? That maybe you guys couldn't uh, cross paths this week? And I maybe... didn't know that. I didn't know that. You know, he was. That's that's his his gang's actor. You know, see, he he always run away from the you know the challenger. The same thing will happen on the fight. Well, once things get rough there, he gonna quit. They're gonna make him quit. You've talked a lot about the history here. I mean, I gotta think a championship fight, regardless, is special. But does this feel like something extra special is on the line for you? Oh yeah, man, you know, like, one year ago, I was moving up the division. Everybody's doubting me, you know, exactly one year ago, I was fighting in Singapore with Sarek Safedin. Everybody, I just just choose more for the division, and here I am, fighting for the title, and that's, that's the most important for me, you know, for my legacy, and everything that I do, I put on a hard work always, and, you know, and, you know, do things with love, and always putting God first, first, and things happen. Okay, I think everybody, after you beat Robbie Lawler, you were looked at as the number one contender. You took this fight because, you know, the champion was injured, right, Tyron Woodley? If I'm not mistaken, he says that he wants to come back as soon as July. Is that a little frustrating to you, knowing that the champ is now saying he could be back one month from now? That wasn't what I heard, you know? Like, I took that fight because Tyron said he just would be able to fight me in November, December. That's why I took this fight. and. I heard, I was told that Tyron, he wants to fight in July or August with George St. Pierre, Conor McGregor, or Nate Diaz. And then when he was told that he would fight me, I said, no, okay, those are just in December, only December. And I can't wait that long, you know, I can't be one year without fighting, you know, I have, I, I need to keep my rhythm, and, and then that's why I took that fight. So Conor McGregor tweeted today that he had a fight in Rio. Was that the fight against you? And can you explain what happened? Not that I know. Uh, I heard some rumors that UFC was trying to put to do that announcement on New York on the last press conference, but UFC did not contact me directly to talk about this fight. Yeah, but I'll be there after Saturday. I'll be there. 
the Irish boy when I try his third play out, that would be the head shooter. And you're your own manager, right? So they would have contacted you, correct? No, but I have a guy. I have my friend Giovanni Biscardo working for me now, you know, and good friend of mine. But also they, they, they contacted me too, you know, but like at, at that time, I was with my my friend already and they did not contact him either. So they contacted him question. or you? No. And so, in Brazil, you, people will always cheer for you. I mean, that's your home country. Um, you go to Edmonton, you fight Neil Magny. You know, people just cheer because it's a good fight. People are going to cheer for you as if you're in Brazil this weekend because of Colby and his antics. Uh, is that something that you can really get behind and get energy uh, from? Yeah, sure, man. Uh, you know, I'm a very, you know, uh, calm fighter. You know, I don't I don't listen too much to the crowd when I'm fighting. I'm trying to, to put 100% of my focus on that, that time, you know, that, you know, that moment. But, of course, it will be an extra boost, you know, having all my American fans on my side. Will be a great, a great, a great experience. Off with what you said about Tyron and, and not being willing to fight you, and then saying it later. I mean, does that upset you a little bit? Does that do you take that personal? Do you feel like he's he's ducking you? I mean, is that a fight you want? I mean, what emotion does that cause in you? Yeah, like you know, it's kind of frustration, you know, because I, I beat the former champion. I was hoping to fight him, and I'm not saying he's ducking me, but like looks like right, and he 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 want to fight in July and August with these three guys. But since the fight was against me, only in December. I, I get it, you know, everybody want to make some money, everybody want to, you know, get big fights. But, you know, if, if that the guy's a number one contender, you can try to avoid him. You know, you have to face your, your, your the challenges on the division. And Nate Diaz has not fought a walk away. You know, he fought, but, you know, he got, he got destroyed. And... Yeah, you know, just frustration, but man, here I am fighting for the title, you know, and I'm sure they're going to win, and I'll fight him later on. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.